I love most about you? Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably two things actually. Oh, two? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I, so one of them would be that not only do you allow me to be like I said and um, encourage me to do the things that make me happy. Mm -hmm. It's like you also become invested in it yourself. Okay. Like there have been times when I've felt guilty because I've been like, hey, there's this thing that I really want to do, like this program mm -hmm. that I really want to do, but I'm going to have to be abroad for a year to do it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that's going to mean for our relationship and how we're going to handle it. And, you know, I feel bad and I feel stressed out about it. And you're mm -hmm. like, don't worry we'll figure it out like go do that you have to do that because yeah. that's gonna make you happy i'm so excited for you and you I become a part of that plan right yeah and yeah. like you push me to do things mm -hmm. and like even when i just have ideas you know i always have engineering ideas mm -hmm. and i'll be like hey babe like i just thought of this you know solar thing and you'll be like oh wow let's like let's grab paper let's like start making drawings <laughs> and you're like making the marketing plan and, and <laughs> elevating the idea and you get so excited about it like you get more excited than i am mm. <laughs> like, okay. okay this is my plan yeah. And I just love that about you, that you push me to do the things for myself, like that mm -hmm. don't have anything to do with you. Right. Or that might even inconvenience you, actually, because right. maybe I have to go somewhere or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like you actually encourage me in those things. I really love that. Um, and the other thing, I think it's just your kindness. I don't know any single person in the world who is as kind as you. <laughs> and it goes just beyond what I ever would have imagined in a partner or in anyone. Mm. Because it's like, you you don't want me to suffer for anything. <laughs> anything. Yeah, I don't like, know. Like, if like there's it. a hair in my face, you got to remove it. <laughs> if there's a cricket, there was a cricket outside our bedroom window one night. <laughs> And I couldn't fall asleep. This was like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I couldn't fall asleep because this cricket kept chirping outside our window. <laughs> he literally gets out of bed, gets a machete, <laughs> goes outside in the middle of the night, locates this particular <laughs> cricket, <laughs> and kills it. He's like, no, but nothing's gonna bother my wife. <laughs> know how he found this cricket yeah, <laughs> and it's just I was, like I was just cleaning everywhere yeah where, where are you where the F are you where are you <laughs> it's just like any and everything you're always like looking to do things to just make me comfortable you're always like you know adjusting me mm. are you hungry are you this like do you need this do you need yeah, that yeah and sometimes I feel like I overdo <laughs> okay guys so the battery went out but what I was trying to say was that I see how it can be annoying sometimes for me, you know, trying to arrange house every time. Ask her, do you want to eat? Sometimes I will even say, oh, you didn't drink water today. You know, I would try to arrange her and all that and all that. Even carry a handbag and help her with all these things. I think it can be annoying sometimes. Babe, what do you think? I think it can be a little bit much sometimes, but I do really appreciate how attentive you are to me and how you're always trying to make me comfortable. Okay, that's really good. Let's go to the main discussion again. Along the same lines, we don't take the things that each other does personally. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't take everything that I do as having something to do with you. Right. And I don't take the things that you do as it having to do with me. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a big difference between your partner disrespecting you or not considering you mm -hmm. and your partner just living their life <laughs> yeah. and and being them like people will reach out to me and be like did you see what your husband posted on social media <laughs> like he commented on this girl's picture or he posted this girl's picture and said happy birthday and this and that <laughs> and i'm just like okay like that comment reports, reports you me <laughs> yeah yeah and I'm just like that that doesn't impact me at all like right. I don't see that as something that has anything to do with me mm -hmm. because I trust my husband and I know that he's not commenting on someone's picture because he wants to be with them or he doesn't want to be faithful to me I know my husband like he's a professional hype man he's always <laughs> <laughs> complimenting everyone in real life yeah. <laughs> men women children you look sharp your hair looks nice I like your dress Da, 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 da. you know like he's always complimenting people so like when he compliments a lot of people on social media that's literally just him being him and i don't take that as anything that has to do 
with me? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people really find it very difficult to differentiate, you know, marriage or relationship from social media. Like, they take, like, everything their partner does on social media to be something that will impact their marriage or, oh, it's a signal to, you know, what you... I'm like, yeah, you have to chill yeah. out. Just because I'm married doesn't mean I cannot wish, you know, my friend who is a girl, of <laughs> course, a happy birthday. Yeah. Or I cannot celebrate someone whom I know, you know. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that I'm not faithful. It doesn't mean that I'm trying to... I mean, b because for me... I think that, you know, being a social media uh, consultant, I spend all of my time on social media. Yeah. I have clients who I have to, you know, tease them and make them happy and make them feel at home. And I've seen that the trend right now is that, you know, a lot of people feel like, oh, you're not supposed to do this because you're married. People want to really be very official. They don't want to, oh, you're married, so you're not supposed yeah. to do this. It's also the perception. I think there's like two reasons that people might feel that way. One is that they don't have trust in their relationship yeah, and yeah, um, true. they know that, you know, if my partner says something on this picture, like that's a legitimate sign that something's right. going on, that like he's right. talking to her, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> so that's one. But the other one could be you don't want other people to see that your husband has posted <laughs> someone's picture right because you're worried about what they're gonna think about it yeah true the perception true, that they're gonna have true but true. then that also comes back to people projecting people will always project their perception and their experiences onto oh, others oh true so if they feel like well once when a happened in my relationship it led to b mm -hmm. therefore i see a in yours so b is, <laughs> b coming. is coming yeah, yeah. that's i mean <laughs> that's that's, that's your opinion yeah people are so so different every relationship is so different yeah. and you know it's not always fair to kind of make those assumptions yeah and this is not just like with social media it's like with everything, everything you know people yeah. have their opinion of um like this cut and dry kind of formula for right. how to make a marriage right. successful like if you do this it's not gonna work yeah i remember when when we got married like a lot of people were like oh look stick to your wife you don't have to go for advice from your mom from your dad i'm like like a lot of people you know give me advice i'm like what am i supposed to take like you hear advices yeah, and it all conflicts yeah <laughs> people this are one, telling you opposite things yeah this one will say oh talk to your mother when you have an issue this one will say don't go to your mom this one will say talk to i'm like yeah. i don't know what to do like if we have an issue we talk to ourselves we deal with our issues and we solve our issues yeah you don't, our issues you don't you don't always <laughs> You don't always need a third party to tell you what to do or how to deal or how to deal. Because at the end of the day, if that person comes in and solves that issue, tomorrow you also need that person. I think some of the best advice that I've gotten is that while, yes, you have to work for your marriage, mm -hmm. you have to make your marriage work for you. Right, right. So the right. solution that the third party comes up with mm -hmm. might not actually be the solution that works for us or right. for me or for you mm -hmm. so you have to make your marriage work for you you have to construct it in a way that is best for you and that's not right. going to look like everyone else's marriage it doesn't have everyone's to. marriage it doesn't, doesn't have, have to, to have the same rules it doesn't have to look the same yeah it doesn't have to have the same flavor yeah you cannot yeah. be like Kavila Nitoro you know <laughs> <laughs> you'll never be yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so babe, about social media, do you remember that your friend that um, I commented on the, the girlfriend's picture? Yeah, and he got and, mad. And then he got mad. <laughs> and, and, and he was like, back off of my girl. What are you doing? I'm like, what? What, what happened? Like, it yeah, was just he was simple so commenting. Offended. Yeah, it was just simple commenting on the girl's picture. Yeah. You know? And then he was like, oh, get out, don't do this. I'm like, what you know he even said to me he was like i can't believe that you allow your husband to <laughs> <Wow>. comments <laughs> allow <Wow. laughs> 
Yeah, pe- people like, need to huh? people need to appreciate <laughs> social media and their relationship. People, yeah. a lot of a lot of guys, a lot of guys really think that what a, their women does on social media really impacts or portray how they feel about the marriage. Is is it is a very different yeah, thing. It's, it's a very different thing. You can always allow her to do whatever she wants to do as long as she doesn't re- disrespect you. You know, let her live her life. Let her then have again, a, sorry, I don't mm-hmm. want to cut you no, off. Go ahead, but go ahead. Then again, I mean, people have different definitions of disrespect. Yeah, you know? sure, true. Like true. I think this person felt true. disrespected by something that to us was very silly, and we right. were just laughing. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and the girlfriend as well was yeah. also laughing. And like he's mad, like big mad. And <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, so yeah. I mean, that's part of what I was saying earlier that you have to know your partner and you have to know what you're getting into. Mm-hmm. I could never be with someone I, who gets offended. I can never by ever be with someone innocuous like that. Comments. Like my wife doesn't post my picture on my bed day. I mean, I understand the kind of person she is. I don't have to get mad. Like people really think that as yeah. a big thing. So why didn't you celebrate me on my bed day? I'm like, so you know how we went to we went to the beach for our honeymoon? Yeah. Yeah, Miami. And then w- one guy called me and was like, what kind of picture is that you posting? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me, let me put it the way the guy said it. He was like, hello, Cavio. I'm like, yeah. He said, that girl you posted, is that your girlfriend or is that your wife? I said, I said, I said, I said, I said that's my wife. I said, I said, that's my wife. He was like, no, take it down. I'm like, what? She selected a picture by herself. Do you know? Do you know how long it took me to take that picture? <laughs> you know you got you, you got mad that I didn't take that yeah, picture. Yeah, because you well. weren't taking good pictures. Yeah, <laughs> I have to choose which one. Is that time people just take a step backward, you know, and realize that look, oh wow, if I just stay here and she does what she she wants to do, that will not affect me. You have peace of mind and you live happily ever after. <laughs> so that's a wrap for part two of our one year anniversary reflection or discussion. Thank you so much, guys, for the support so far. And don't forget to comment below and share your perspective with us on what you think a marriage should be, what your perspective on relationships is, and just whatever your thoughts were. We really appreciate you for all the shares from our first video. Yeah. We've seen the comments. <laughs> we've seen how the video is going. Thank you so much. Keep it up. Keep it up. Bye.